Hi kindergartners, it's Miss Want. I'm here to do a read aloud with you today. Today we're gonna to read a book called Click Clack Moo, Cows That Type. Before we start, we're gonna do a couple things. The first is we're gonna answer a question that might help us think about what's gonna happen in the book. Your question today is, I want you to think about something that you believe everybody needs. What's something that you think everybody needs? Go ahead, think about that. When you have your answer, you can tell someone close to you or whisper your answer or say it in your brain. Great. Let's keep going. One word we need to know for this book is the word strike. Let's clap that word together. Strike. Let's count. Strike. One syllable in the word strike. A strike is when people stop working because they're asking for something that they need. When people stop working because they ask for something they need. In this book, you're gonna see the cows go on strike. They're gonna stop working to ask for something they need. We're also always going to notice and wonder on the cover. So look at the cover. You can notice that's something that you see. For example, I might say, I notice that there are a couple cows and I notice a chicken and a duck. And I notice they're all looking at this thing right here. Go ahead, you can notice as well. What else do you notice? Great, thank you for doing that. We'll also always wonder. Wonder is something you wanna know. Like, I wonder what this machine is. Go ahead, you can wonder. Okay. Before we get started, our good reader skill this book is making predictions. You can say predictions with me. Predictions. Predictions are when we think about and we make a guess about what might happen based on what we already know in the story. We make a guess about what might happen. So there's a couple times in the book that I'm gonna stop and ask you to make a prediction, a guess about what might happen next. All right, click, clack, moo, cows the type. The author is Doreen Cronin and the illustrator is Betsy Lewin. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long he hears click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo. At first he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Dear Farmer Brown, the barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Hmm. I notice that the cows are asking for something. They're asking for blankets so they can be warm. It was bad enough the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets. No way, said Farmer Brown, no electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. I remember a strike is when people stop working to ask for something they need. The cows are gonna stop working for the farmer so they can ask for what they need. They wrote, sorry, we're closed, no milk today. No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. I know this is a typewriter. It's kind of like a computer. It helps you make write words onto a paper. The next day, he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Mm. Stop there, and I want you to make a prediction. What do you think will happen next? You can go ahead, you can whisper that, you can say it in your brain, or you can tell someone close to you. What do you think will happen next? What do you predict? Let's find out. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. Closed, no milk. No eggs. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. 
click clack moo click clack moo clickety clack moo mm. cows the type hens on strike who ever heard of such a thing how can i run a farm with no milk and no eggs farmer brown was furious Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens, there will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. What is your prediction? Let's make another prediction. What do you predict is going to happen? This time you might say something like, I predict. Make a guess. What do you think is going to happen next? The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Doc knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. Mm, I hear they're willing to make a trade. They're willing to exchange. If he gives them electric blankets, they will give him their typewriter. Mm, I wonder if Farmer Brown is going to accept if he's going to trade them the blankets for the typewriter. Make a prediction. What do you think will happen? Let's find out. Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with the typewriter. And I can see the illustrator is showing me these blankets and these are the little power cords that tell me there's electricity going to make them warm. So I see that the hens and the cows have gotten electric blankets. The next morning, he got a note. Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the ducks. Click, clack, quack. Click, clack, quack. Clickety, clack, quack. I'm making a guess here. I'm making an inference. I'm guessing that instead of bringing the typewriter to Farmer Brown, the ducks took the typewriter and they are now writing their own notes about what they need from the farmer. The end. The good reader question today is, what did the cows do when they needed something? They needed the blankets to be warm. What did they do to solve that problem? Mm, give you a second to think about that and then share your answer in whatever way works for you. Hmm. Let's go back and see. They really needed the blankets. What did they do? I can think of a couple things. I remember the first thing they did was they asked for the blankets. They said, Dear Farmer Brown, we are cold. We need blankets. They asked for what they needed. Then I remember the author said, So the cows went on strike. The other thing they did when they didn't get the blankets is they stopped working. So they would show the farmer that they really were serious and they really needed the blankets. Tomorrow in class, we're going to talk about saying what's in our heart and brain. Sometimes when there's a problem, the just right solution is to say what's in our heart and brain so that other people know what we need. The cows in this book said what was in their heart and brain. They said, we're cold. We need blankets. Please help us. And that was part of the way that they solved their problem. Today, your question to record on our um, on Seesaw is to record your answer to the question, how do you think you could use your heart and brain? When is a time in our class or at your home or another time that you need to say what's in your heart and brain? I can't wait to hear about your answers. We'll see you tomorrow.